If your romantic relationship doesn't feel so mm, romantic, then this video is a must watch. I'm about to share five simple things you can do to strengthen your relationship, which are all scientifically proven. So I'm not making this stuff up. It's the real deal. Because let's face it, the day-to-day -day of a relationship, especially a long-term one, can at best become a little boring and familiar. At worst, you may feel like your world's apart, almost like you're strangers, or even worse, you may no longer feel as though you even like your partner. And yet, there are couples who thrive in long-term relationships. Over time, the intimacy deepens and their love grows. So how does this happen for them? Or more importantly, how can you make sure your relationship or marriage can go the distance? Well, it's all about the small gestures, regular mindful moments where you and your partner fill up that well. Hi, I'm Nadine Peart, a dating and lasting attraction coach for smart, savvy women and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Now, before we continue, please be sure to comment below and let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like help with and if there's a topic you'd like me to do a video on. I want to find out who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy, united love. And if you're new and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified of my next video. Now, contrary to what movies may tell you, you don't always have to come up with grand gestures to rekindle the fire in your relationship, like waiting outside their window with your favorite song playing in a boom box over your head or hopping onto the first flight you can get onto to see them. It's actually the small gestures that strengthen your relationship with each other. And as I mentioned earlier, science backs this up. The best thing about this is that you can start doing these five things today to improve your relationship. The first thing you can do is number one, express gratitude. It's so easy to complain and point out what's wrong with your partner. While well, being honest with how we feel, especially when we feel unappreciated or neglected in some way is important so you won't bottle it up and explode at the worst of times, you also have to remember to express your gratitude for all the good things he does for you, no matter how small it is. Research from Florida State University revealed that when gratitude is expressed in a relationship, both partners find each other more appealing. Therefore, it increases the motivation for both people to actually put in the work and build a healthy relationship. So in your relationship, this can be as simple as saying thank you when he does something for you. You can also say, I appreciate you being in my life before you go to sleep tonight. Well, it's not required. You can also give him a small thank you gift just because and let him know what you value about him. Or you can leave him a short, sweet surprise note somewhere you know he'll be sure to come across in the day. Number two, settle arguments in person. If you two are having relationship problems right now, but you're in separate locations, trust me on this. Resist the urge to text him. Don't send that angry text. Don't even leave a voice message. Trust me, this will only muddy the waters even more. Or better yet, trust science. In a study published in the Journal of Couple and Relationships Therapy, fighting via text messages actually harms how a couple perceives relationship satisfaction, stability, and attachment. This is a especially true for men. So whether you're in an argument right now or when you get into another argument in the future, it's better to talk about it in person. Face-to-face -face discussions and apologies are better appreciated than text messages that can be easily misconstrued. To help you further with this point, I created a critical free gift called Word Poison. I reveal 16 words and phrases to never use if you want to keep the peace with your man. These phrases can kill intimacy in a second. If you want to keep your relationship strong and connected, even during heated or challenging moments, then you need to know these words. They will save your relationship. The link is in the description right below. Number three, support his achievements. How do you respond when your partner shares good news about his job or business? This could be a recent promotion or getting complimented by his CEO. This could be closing a deal he's been negotiating for a while. Be honest here. When this happens, are you genuinely ecstatic for him and say so, or are you more subdued? A study from UCLA found that enthusiastic responses whenever a partner shares their good news plays a huge role in whether that relationship's commitment, satisfaction, and love will last. Now on the flip side, belittling their success strongly indicates that a relationship will have less longevity. Of course, to celebrate, you don't have to take him to a fancy five-star restaurant, though if you have the budget for it, go ahead. 
What I do suggest is to be authentically happy for him and express it. Tell him how impressed or proud you are. Hug him, write him one of those sweet secret messages, or do a happy dance or pop a bottle of wine if you have it at home. When you celebrate his successes, you make him feel validated and seen. Number four, watch a romantic movie together. If you don't understand why your partner or maybe your friends love watching rom-coms and love stories, there's actually a science-backed reason behind it. According to the University of Rochester, couples who watch a romantic film once a week and discuss the story afterwards receive a two-pronged benefit. First, it has the same positive effect as going to couples counseling, and second, it can actually cut down the divorce rate for newlyweds by half. So if you like watching this genre, that's great. You have more reason to convince your partner to fire up Netflix and play your favorite rom-com. But if you're not into this genre, perhaps think of it like this. This movie and talk approach can actually help both of you to be more conscious of how you two act and treat each other. Research backs this up, so if you have a relationship issue you'd like to resolve, do some research, find a relative romantic movie and play that baby next date night. You might resolve that issue sooner rather than later. And lastly, number five, do small acts of kindness. Remember when I said you don't have to think of grand gestures? What if I told you that a good relationship can actually blossom out of brewing a good cup of coffee for your partner? Sounds impossible? Dr. Terry Orberch from the University of Michigan studied 375 couples over the course of 28 years and found that doing frequent small acts of kindness is a crucial predictor of happiness in a relationship. So yes, this powerful and small gesture of making him coffee or changing the toilet paper so it faces the right way or preparing his favorite meal after a long day of work, these will all make your partner feel appreciated and special. And that you're not taking him for granted. So there you have it, the five small gestures that science says you and your man can do to be happy together and make your relationship stronger. To support you even further, and if you haven't got it yet, I highly recommend you check out my program, Unlock His Heart. I reveal some very specific tips to help you build intimacy fast with your man. I expose men's biggest insecurities, how this stops a man from loving you with all of his heart, and how to dissolve his concerns fast. I call this section, what makes men wobble, and you'd be surprised to find out what these insecurities are. Let's face it, relationships and dating isn't always easy. This program ends the confusion and heartache. The link to my Unlock His Heart program is right below in the description. Well, that's it for today's video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, comment, and give this video the thumbs up, and please share it with a friend who needs some help with strengthening her long-term romantic relationship. It's been a great honor to have you here with me. I encourage you to choose to show love a little more in some way every day, and see you again at my next video.